Hey, hey, good morning. It is Thursday, July 19th, and we're jumping right in with fashion news because there is a ton going on, and we get to talk about The Dark Knight, which I'm actually so excited to see. So that's gonna start us off. Basically, Giorgio Armani is amazing, and he outfits Christian Bale for The Dark Knight Rises. So Bruce Wayne, who we all know and love, has two different suits. He has a charcoal gray pinstripe suit and one gray plaid suit. So obviously there's just two, but they're gonna be paired with lots of different shirt and tie combos, and he's gonna look amazing in all of them. And Giorgio Armani also accessorized in Hathaway. And Giorgio says, quote, to be involved with the design process for a tremendous talent like Christian Bale is a rewarding experience. I'm thrilled to play a small role in the Dark Knight legacy. Small role, Giorgio, I think that's a huge role. Making Christian Bale look good as Batman is a huge part of the franchise, huge. So give yourself some credit. In other news, Mark Ronson is the face of Fendi's first male fragrance. So he's a British DJ and musician, and he is now the face of, excuse my un-French, if you will, Fendi, Fendi pour homme. According to French Vogue, they were looking for a face that was both modern and rock and roll, and I definitely think they found that in Mr. Ronson. And in Big news, Emmy nominations are out. So we're talking about the costume and just in case you guys haven't seen, here are the nominees for outstanding costumes for a series. We've got Boardwalk Empire, The Bourgeois, Downtown Abbey, Game of Thrones, and Once Upon a Time. And if my vote's in, I hope Once Upon a Time gets it. And we've also got the nominees for outstanding costumes for a miniseries, movie, or a special. And I'm pretty bad about this. I don't really watch these. I kind of watch this series, but just in case you do, they are American Horror Story, Great Expectations, Hatfields and McCoys, Hemingway and Gellhorn, Sherlock and Treasure Island. So those are your nominees for costume design in the Emmys. I wanna know who you guys are picking for series. So I gave you mine once upon a time. Let me know in the comments who takes yours. And for a little Thursday pick me up, I don't know if this is exactly what you would call a headline, but I'm just giving it to you anyway. So excuse my explicit, Fashion Girls Say on the internet came out and I'm literally dying. So we've all seen these bleep people say, bleep so and so says, but this one is literally off the charts. I was laughing out loud in my office yesterday watching this. So there is cameos from Rebecca Black and the Man Repeller who has an amazing blog that I love and follow religiously. But definitely go watch that when you need a Thursday pick me up and you're so ready for Friday because it will definitely take you through the rest of the day with a smile on your face. And Nina Garcia partners with JC Penney. So she's a fashion director of Marie Claire magazine. She is a judge on Project Runway and now she has become JC Penney's company's resident style voice and fashion collection curator. What a title you just received. But she announced this on her Tumblr and basically what she'll be doing is trend forecasting. So she says, quote, fashion and personal style are always evolving and I'm excited to collaborate on a variety of amazing projects with the incredible team at JCPenney and we're excited for you. Maybe JCPenney will be like upping their game when it comes to high fashion. We'll just have to see as that plays out. And model Coco Rocha speaks out against Photoshop. There's been a few issues with Photoshop lately. Dotson Cruz lost a leg in one of her covers. Coco took to Twitter to say, hey Photoshop guys, can you please be sure to count two arms and two legs on the girls you cut and paste? Thanks, sincerely, models. Talk about a little bit passive aggressive, but she makes a good point. Like, come on, everyone has to have two arms and legs. You can get rid of the flab, but not the limbs. You gotta have the limbs. All right, guys, that's all I've got for you today. It's Thursday, tomorrow's Friday. We'll see you bright and early on a latte fashion. Have a great Thursday. Bye.